What up, everybody? I'm not going to lie to you. It's time for Tariq and Braden to get out of New York, possibly for good. Just go somewhere else and start over. There's nothing left for them in New York. They're in the middle of a war they can't win. They were just the subjects of a RICO case. They are known drug dealers, and they don't even have a plug. So in my opinion, Tariq and Braden should just leave New York and start over. Tariq just needs to make sure that his family is moved to a new location in Whitsack, and Braden needs to make sure his family gets out of town for a while. There's no shame in the game, and this is part of the life of a drug dealer. Tommy Egan has already had to get out of New York, and even went as far as faking his death. Of course they won't need to fake their death. Tommy had to because he was a fugitive. If you're a fan of BMF, you already know that Big Meech made the transition from Detroit to Atlanta, and Southwest T eventually left the D and moved to LA. And their drug empire only grew bigger with each move that they made. As for me, I lived in every part of my city before finally having to take off in the middle of the night to head south and never look back, leaving behind wardrobes, furniture, cars, product, guns, relationships, and whatever else. Because at the end of the day, your life and your freedom don't have a price tag. This is what leads me to believe Ghost is still alive and faked his death to get out the game. And save the zombie talk, plenty of people survived getting shot. I know people myself, one man was shot in the head and given no chance to survive, but walks around today completely normal with a big knot on the side of his head where he got shot. And as far as that fall, I personally have fallen off a roof climbing out a window when I was a kid. It knocked me out immediately, but I'm still here talking to y'all today, and Ghost wasn't even knocked out from the fall. One more thing before I move on, Greg Knox and Malcolm Howard were both shot in the exact same way Ghost was and both survived. Greg Knox even had on a bulletproof vest, but he still lost consciousness. So getting me back to Tariq and Braden, the first place they should go is Chicago because they already have a contact person in Chicago in Tommy Egan. When Meech and T went to Atlanta, they already had their contact person in Ty Washington. When Meech actually moved to Atlanta, he had a contact person in Goldie. When I left my city, my little cousin was my contact person. He had moved about a year prior. Unfortunately for him, he moved trying to get out the game, and I brought it right back to his doorstep. When Tommy moved to Chicago, he didn't have a contact person, but luckily for him, Liliana was already established in Chicago, so he basically did have a contact person, and even better than that, Liliana was sitting on a carton of keys, so he made 300 k all profit by like the third episode. But when you think about it, Tommy wasn't really even supposed to be going to Chicago. He was supposed to be going to L.A. where he did have a contact person. I can't remember his name. Someone let me know the name of Tommy's L.A. contact in the comments. And either though we don't know what Tommy's next move is, now that he's not messing with Dahlia anymore... Tariq and Brayden still need an ally, and it would be good for them to spend some time around some OGs like Tommy and Diamond. And either though Tariq did get somewhat raised up by Kanan, he set him up to die before he could finish getting his street education. And I know Diamond at least still has his coke plug, who we never got introduced to in season one. Tariq and Braden could actually enroll in school in Chicago, set up another version of Course Correct at a school that knows nothing about them, and they are all set. I know Tommy had the conversation in episode 10 about being a civilian or a gangster, but as long as they're not in the middle of a war, they should be good. Plus, Course Correct was the perfect cover the first time anyway. See, this is the difference between how Tommy and Tariq move their product. Tariq usually sets up some kind of business where the drugs are sold directly to the users by using workers, aka runners, to make the deliveries. Where Tommy uses distros to move his product. Distros are not the end users, but other drug dealers that have their own established drug network. Tariq and Braden would be more considered like distros. They are able to sell their product at retail prices. While Tommy sells his product at wholesale prices to other drug dealers. 
This is why K. Egan called Tommy a drug lord in episode 10 and not a drug dealer. A drug lord basically is one who oversees the operations of other drug dealers. Moving to Chicago, Tariq and Brady would also be able to hook up with D-Mac. And maybe the three of them would go to school together. Because we already know that Tommy and JP don't want D-Mac going back to the streets. But at the end of the day, D-Mac has been on his own since he was a JIT. And JP is not going to be able to make that decision for him. So going to school and working with Tariq and Brady on the Course Correct app may just be the perfect compromise. At the same time, after going to Chicago, regrouping, and getting a new plug, they just might want to branch off to their own city to take over. Indianapolis and St. Louis are nearby cities they could possibly move into. At the same time, they could head west or south, but India or St. Louis would be best because they don't want to be all that far from their plug. So with that being said, I don't feel like Tariq and Brayden are going to be moving. Either though it makes perfect sense in real life, it makes no sense for the show Ghost because there's still a whole cast left in New York unless they gave the Tejadas their own spinoff, Book 5, The Tejadas. But with that said, there is still the possibility that Tariq and Brayden will get out of town and head to Chicago for a while to let the war cool down at least. At this point, they could use Power Law 22, use the surrender tactic, transform weakness into power. And Tariq is a master of Power Law 13. When asking for help, appeal to people's self-interest, never to their mercy or gratitude. When asking for Tommy's help the first time, he went about it wrong and thought that their history would be enough to get Tommy's help. But Tariq knows it's all about a favor for a favor. I scratch your back, you scratch mine. Tariq and Braden go to Chicago to work for Tommy and help him take over the city. And in return, Tommy and some shy town muscle go to New York and handle that war. So don't be surprised if Tariq and Braden make their debut on Force in Season 2. And there you have it. Leave your thoughts, theories, and predictions in the comments.